assalamu alaikum viewers today i'm making cheese mac and uh, for this uh, i show you ingredients uh, i will take uh, a bit olive oil then i'll put uh, ghee because before putting oil if you put ghee ghee is going to burn and its flavor will be bad so first uh, i will put a uh, bit olive oil you can put any oil you can put uh, uh, cooking oil sunflower oil what what is available in your house here yeah? and uh, usually people uh, those who are doing keto diet they uh, they they eat this uh, recipe because you will see lots of cheese and ghee and butter you will be uh, conscious that is this a healthy thing but people who do, who is who are doing a keto diet for them it's uh, it's absolutely healthy and everything will be sorted so i will just uh, move the pot away because uh, we was bit oil uh, warm so I think now now i will put uh, onion i just uh, chop uh, finely chopped it and along with it will go a garlic will go with it here yeah. and uh, chili i just used two colors you can use only red because uh, i just i had red as well so i put to give the color it looks a uh, little bit uh, attractive otherwise taste wise you can put uh, only one yeah and i we have to do just saute we don't want to cut them i mean so when my onion and garlic and ginger uh, chili will be saute because we don't i don't want to uh, turn it into golden brown or something just saute then i will add mushroom it's up to you if you want to chop a uh, mushroom thinly you can uh, chop thin but i like this bite size because it, after that it's a sauce it will go along with the uh, cauliflower and all this thing and it will be baked so you don't need to chop thin and we will do bit seasoning salt we use a uh, Himalayan salt, which is healthy and good for the health. I will put a little bit uh, salt at this time because I will add uh, cheese, and cheese you know that it's bit salty. So you can set uh, your seasoning at the end. You can add the uh, salt, but if it is salty, it's difficult you to balance your thing. Now I will put a little bit of pepper. It's a there is no hard and fast uh, fast rule. Okay, how 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 much? It's according to your taste. If you want uh, more spice, you can put more. If you, I will just keep it mild. I will leave the mushroom for two three minutes to let it saute. Now my mushroom is tender. I will just transfer in a pot and I will use the same pot uh, to make a, a white sauce. Again, I will slow down the heat uh, of the cooker and uh, then I will add. Uh, here it's up to you if you want to add uh, for what sauce usually people use uh, butter but uh, but there's difference between butter or uh, ghee so i'm just adding bit ghee and here i i am adding 3 tablespoon of all purpose flour
in just few minutes i don't want to brown it because then white sauce flavor will be changed i just mix with butter or ghee whatever you are you are going to use that's it it's done and i'm just going to put it in a grinder mug and i'm not going to put directly uh, milk in it because then sometime it becomes very you know clum clumsy and it's very easy just grind them so it will you will get smooth silky creamy white sauce and I will just grind it and then you will be surprised when you will see the consistency and smoothness smoothness of uh, the sauce okay now I, I'm putting back uh, this uh, in the pot and now you can see it's hassle free no worry, it's gonna be clumsy or something. And I will keep adding milk according to my consistency. It's up to you. And I will add this wedge again in it very really easy and you know if you make because I usually I make for three four days just you can freeze it whenever you want just come back from work take out or before going to work just take it out from your freezer put it in uh, your fridge come back it's ready just grilled chicken fish or whatever you want to eat with this it's ready I think I need more milk in it Now I will put season, seasoning in it. Main ingredient is oregano. I will put oregano. I will be put at least two teaspoons. mix it gives a nice flavor in it half teaspoon look half teaspoon yeah kind pepper will be one tablespoon and this is the it give it will enhance the flavor smoked paprika if you don't have it, it's okay. You can put a simple chili in it, yeah? And here is the thing which is the secret ingredient of my husband's favorite thing. It's a homemade uh, garlic, uh, chili garlic sauce because I make at home. Because when you go to buy from the shop, there would be lots of uh, flavors and especially sugar will be in it it's a sugar free just add little bit one tail one or two tablespoon if you don't have it's okay but uh, you can buy from the shop but uh, soon i will add this uh, recipe as well and you will be surprised how it is easy to make let it boil and it's ready here i will put a uh, little bit cheese and rest of the cheese will go in uh, baking then I will put layering with vegetables. You can put any cheese, mozzarella, cheddar, anything. 
because now due to lockdown and I don't have uh, I, I didn't go out so I was using, using the baking cheese which comes in a big lock and we usually we bake it and eat as a with the chips crackers carrots but cheese is cheese whatever you want yeah now it's ready turn off the cooker and uh, my oven is on preheated i left it because uh, i i just do loads of things uh, in one go my sh uh, baking dish is ready i already grease it and the first layer will go with the uh, veg this is cauliflower and broccoli what i did i just boiled them for five minutes and now it's ready in it and now just to uh, put rest of the vegetable if you keep uh, ready everything the cooking time is just 15 to 20 minutes which usually i do yeah and it's very handy when you just make it, make portion, freeze it. And uh, when you, before going to work, just take out one portion, leave it in fridge, come back. And just with, along with, sometimes we eat grilled chicken, fish, this type of thing. And now here it is, I'll put a bit parsley in it. Yeah, my everything is, my all herbs are frozen. I just keep in fridge, freezer, because uh, here in um, back home, it's we have advantage every day. Green grocer, it comes and you can buy here. You have to go and buy the things. So once just go buy the thing and these green th uh, herbs, you can't leave them on the fridge. So immediately you have to save them. So now I will pour all this thing on top and uh, it will go for bake because usually mostly most of the uh, ingredients are cooked. I have to give the just a grill texture on it. Yeah, and Now my dish is ready to go in oven for 30 minutes. I'm just putting just to give little bit color on it. You can put anything here. Yeah. 